What's up guys? Welcome back to Wild Willow. I have been MIA for like three weeks because I have been pretty sick. Um, I've been literally locked in my bedroom, but I'm finally feeling a lot better, so I'm ready to go. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be going over my new fiber laser I got, the Commarker B6 20 watt. Since I am a newbie with the whole fiber laser world, I do not know everything, okay? So today's video is just going to be my experience on what I think thus far with owning one. So for starters, this laser is not the MOPA version. The MOPA version is the, the fiber laser that can engrave color. Whenever I received my comb marker, um, the packaging was ex bleh, 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 bleh. exceptional. Um, everything was organized super nicely. The insulation was really good. Out of all of my lasers, this by far was the easiest one that I've ever put together. It's only attached in three different parts. After I got it all put together, whenever I got it connected to Lightburn, that also was a walk in the park. I had no issues at all. So that's a huge plus because in the past I've had some issues uh, with Lightburn on some of my other lasers. So another product that I got to practice with um, is a gold necklace, a real gold necklace. Uh, it was for my mother-in-law and it was very expensive and I engraved all the grandkids' names on it. Uh, definitely a little ballsy on my end to go for something so uh, expensive to practice on, like, right? But honestly, shout out to Laser Everything because I watched their videos. They helped me narrow it down on settings and what to do. And honestly, it turned out really good. If anything, I think I would have changed the font because one of the names I felt like wasn't as eligible as the other names. But overall, it turned out really good and I'm happy with the way it looks. Honestly, I kind of felt a little stupid for not getting um, a fiber laser sooner because of how easy the process has been so far. And with me practicing on that real gold, um, it, it definitely was nerve wracking, but it was so easy to do and I got it done super fast. All right, so I gotta keep it real with everybody um, without dragging this out. Uh, so this video has been broken up into two different videos. Um, and, and when I was making this video, something tragic happened and it's been kind of hard to finish the video but I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling a little better and I really want to get this video out. So, um, this is a little bit of a good distraction. Uh, but yeah, if I seem a little off, that's why, I mean, I'm just, I'm doing my best and my YouTube is super important to me. Um, I really want to give more of my time to my YouTube channel. And after this video, I'm going to be dedicating a lot more time to my channel so that I can be getting more videos out with more helpful stuff for everybody. Um, so if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe because uh, I have some good stuff coming out soon. Um, but enough about all that. I just want to let you guys know um, kind of what's going on. Uh, so some things that came with this laser. Uh, they did send a variety of different things that you can practice on. Uh, dog tags, these metal plates. Um, one of them I did like a material test to get a feel for the settings. And something that was really cool are these coins. Um, they're all just, they're just tests. I mean, I'm not good, very good at it yet, but when you go online, you can see some of the really cool coins people have done. And that's my goal eventually is to get one made that's like super, super clean. Another thing is these business cards. So I don't know if it will show you, but they are metal business cards. Um, they're super cool. I, these ones that they provide are 0.4 thickness <clears throat> and then they also have like 0.2 thickness. I've tried those, but they're too thin for like an actual business card that I want to give to somebody. Um, but they do work great for running your, uh, tests on them. Um, I actually liked these so much that I bought a lot more off Amazon and I'll link that for you guys. Um, so all you have to do is throw your card onto your laser and right here, I have a plate that you screw into the base plate. They also provide this for you so that you're able to line up your projects uh, a lot easier. Um, so for the card, it works out really good. I just slide it in and I have everything set up on Lightburn and all I have to do is hit this pedal. And they also provide this pedal when you buy the laser. I did not think I was actually going to use this honestly, um, but it's been very convenient when I'm running these cards because throughout the day I'm working in my shop and all I have to do is grab the card, hit the pedal, and then it starts. Um, so it does save a lot of time. Another thing that they provide is this tower. 
Um, I don't think I'll be using this, honestly, because I don't plan on doing rotary. But if you want to do rotary on your fiber laser, they do provide this tower and you just attach it onto there. It's super easy. Um, with these business metal cards, I really like the idea of doing my own custom cards. Will I give this to every customer? No. Okay, that's that's too much. But the customers that I really want to get in with, um, good loyal customers, um, I can customize these to whoever it's going to. So, for example, say I really want to get this one construction company uh, and get a job with them. Um, I can just customize this to what a construction company would want. I list the things that maybe they would want to purchase on here, and it's more appealing for their business. And that just goes for any business that I'm trying to get. If you guys want to get these business cards, I'll link them in my description. Uh, I do have them on my Amazon. So I think it's pretty cool that they provide all this stuff for you. You have no reason not to get started as soon as you get your laser. If you guys have any questions about the things I just went over, just put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. So something that I really love about this laser is how compact it is. It is smaller, it's not super big. Um, it looks really nice and sleek. I know looks are not everything, okay? All right. But I like my stuff to look good and this looks good. Uh, another really cool thing about it, um, you can take this whole top plate off and store the laser source uh, down below on your desk or something. For me, I usually run this out in my shop and I have a little bottom uh, area underneath my desk that I can put this if I want. I don't know if I will, honestly, it works out great the way it is, but it's nice knowing that if you need to store it down below and get it out of the way, you can. So the calm marker does have autofocus. I did test it and it is on point. Some lasers in the past I've had issues with, so it's really nice knowing that this one's accurate. If you do not want to use the autofocus, you don't have to. It's nice because they have a knob up here on the top uh, that you can manually uh, focus it yourself. So now having this fiber laser, it does open more doors for my business. And that's something that I really want to keep doing for my business. There's so much other machines and things that I want to get to help my business grow. Uh, but slowly but surely, this was definitely on my list to help my business grow and I'm super happy I have it. I'm not going to be sharing any settings uh, just yet because I am still new at this. I do not want to give out any bad settings that ruin anybody's projects. If you guys do want some help, I do recommend watching Laser Everything videos. They have some stuff on fiber lasers. Um, I am going to be making another video on this fiber laser once I get some more experience with it and by that time hopefully I'll have some more settings for you guys as well. If you guys are on the fence about getting a fiber laser, I really hope that today's video kind of helped steer you in the right direction whether you should wait some more or if it's time to make the jump. This laser has by far been one of the easiest lasers I've worked with um, with setting it up and getting it going and I also have a discount code that will save you guys 5%. This laser comes in the MOPA version and it also comes in different watts. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have some really good videos coming out soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.